Hi guys, it's Anne and Doll. I was sitting down and preparing myself to do a miniature book how-to tutorial. I'm really hesitant to say the word he uh, tutorial because I don't have no idea how it would go. Um, but I thought actually as a warm-up, if I have enough time, I don't know if I'll do the books tonight. I was actually going to do an experiment. I want to use recycled materials and make a little notebook. Um, the first thing I've got here is a clothing tag, hippie rose, you know, I don't even remember what clothing item this was for, I think it was for a top. Um, and I remember I was about to throw this out when I snipped the tag off, and I really liked the tiny floral pattern on it, super tiny. And then I also really like this metal grommet. I also like the thickness of it, it's like a very thick cardboard. Um, yeah, I thought... Huh, I wonder if I could use this in a book. So I'm gonna try to make a little notebook actually, which I have not tried. I've been making like little reading books, like textbooks. Uh, let me bring those over. I thought I had lost them for a second. Um, so I've been making little books, which I've been asked to show how I make them, which I will do, hopefully after this, or maybe tomorrow. Um, but today I want, really want to experiment with a little notebook made out of all recycled materials. So I've got this, which would be the cover. I've got a little toothpaste uh, uh, packaging the cardboard. It's thin, but it's uh, sturdy, so it'll stay flat. I want to use that as um, to actually line the inside because I don't want these numbers showing as well as maybe the back. I'm trying to see if I can find a thicker cardboard to be the back. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't keep the hippie rose, um, so I would probably cut it off there. And then there's this old um, telephone contact book. I like that the, the lines are very close together. Um, problem is, it's the same on both sides. If I cut out this portion here to make a sheet of lined paper, um, you could probably see through the lighting. It says area code on the back. So when you flip the page in the notebook, you're going to see area code on every single back page. Um, I don't know if I mind that or not. I've also got little scraps from like uh, when I was making the other books. I have these scrap papers that I were. Um, I did not choose to use because they were the wrong size for the books. So instead of throwing them out, I kept them. And I'm wondering if maybe I can make it like a little watercolor book, watercolor notebook maybe. So I'll decide on that when I get to it. The toughest part is actually going to be making the um, the kind of spiral. Uh, I was going to use some jump rings originally, but then I found pick these up and not lose them. I've got four little jump rings here, but they're the like the super tiny um, keychain key rings, like the spiral key rings, the super thin ones. Um, I got them off some old keychains and some cell phone charms. They held the cell phone charms onto the, the string. So I got four here. If I lose one, I, I just really want four jump rings. I don't want three or two. <laughs> Thing is, I don't know if it'll work because let's say I was using these pages. If it would be enough room to actually flip the pages, if, if you know what I mean, it, it can't be thick enough that you can't flip the pages within the the rings. If you, if I'm not explaining it right, one, two, three. Hmm, it seems I've already misplaced. Now, one has tried to eat in the other because two of my rings are this size. They're slightly larger than this, the other two, which are smaller. Um, so I hope that doesn't affect the way the book turns out, but we'll see. If this is a success or failure, I guess we'll find out. Um, first, I'm going to take this and I'm actually going to cut it off here and actually cover the edge with some recycled fabric. 
Um, this is used for patching up like upholstery, I think it is. Um, I'm gonna line that on the side here. So yeah, I'll fast forward a lot of the bits so you don't get too bored. So I've cut out my cover. It took a while because I had a lot of thinking to do. I, I thought I had planned this out, but I don't think I really did. Um, on the other side, I was testing out my hole puncher to see if it would make a clean hole. hope you can see that. And I just wanted to see how, how far in I needed to put the hole um, so that this could turn. I mean, I should try it with two covers. But I'm hoping that's deep enough so that it doesn't want to rip. Um, and I also, I'm going to put this on the side to cover up the raggedy edge. So I needed to test a hole. What I'm using is actually a jeweler, jewelry puncher. I had went to um, Michael's thinking I was actually going to go buy a leather punch during, I think it was the 4th of July sale. Um, but I saw this one and I really liked how tiny the holes are. Can you see those little, or maybe you can see better here. See those tiny holes? I'm not sure if a leather punch does, but the leather punch at the Michaels I went to, the holes are just too big. So I really like this one. Even the tiniest holes, like it's really, this one's really great. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hopefully finish this cover and... Hmm. I think what I'm going to do is take the cardboard from my toothpaste um, wrapper and glue them back to back just to thicken it up and that'll be my back cover.
Um, so the notebook is basically finished. Ooh, look at this. So my fingers, my hands, really regret this. Um, the tiny jump rings, there's four of them. It was pretty difficult um, putting the rings in one by one. I'm sure if there was some way to get a small spiral, like a real spiral notebook, it would have been easier. Um, but at least this way, none of the pages or the covers don't fall apart. And I think I lucked out on the number of pages because I'm still able to open up the book and it can lie flat. So I added this blue on the side. There's a little bit of lace here and a little charm. It's from an earring. The lace is from... Um, I removed some lace on a hoodie because the hoodie was gonna be... It used to be Adley's and then I gave it to Gunner, so Gunner would not want to wear the lace, so I took that off. Um, and I saved it because it was so small and precious, so I'm glad it's now on the notebook. So the blue was from that, um, the upholstery fabric, uh, the patch upholstery, I guess. And the little hole from the tag, I thought I knew what I wanted to do with it, but I don't. I'm trying to find a way to make a closure. Uh, if anyone has suggestions for that, um, I would love to hear some suggestions for closures. Um, oh, on the inside, there's a little pocket. There's some papers in here. This is a little Totoro. Um, it's from a piece of, it's from a sticky that I got from my order. This Bumblebee Love from her Etsy shop. It's a swallow heart. And then I wrote Adley's name. It says Stanwick Academy, which is her school, her boarding school. And this is the other part from the sticky note from Bumblebee Love. So there's the line paper. And this is what I was talking about with the area code from the address book. This little address book. So when you return the page, it's the area code. And the back is actually, I couldn't use the cardboard because it was too flimsy even if I reinforced it. So I took a manila folder and I like how smooth it is and I um, doubled it to make the back cover. I almost ran the blue down here, but I guess I kind of wish I did that, but I will. So there it is. Missy and Lee's new notebook. Since she acts as Milton's assistant on his PI cases, this is where she takes her notes. Of course, I would need to make a little flip book, like a little flip notepad for Milton as well. So there's that. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't explain everything, and I still need to do the book, the miniature book um, video. I'm sorry, I think everything was kind of skewed so you couldn't see a lot when I was working. I apologize for that. Hopefully in the next one, when I do a crafting video, it'll be more, um, I need to learn how to do, like, explain tutorials. Uh, so, thanks for watching if you managed to watch through this. Um, and yeah, maybe you guys have ideas for recyclable items to turn into miniature props. We'd love to hear that too. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.